YouTube, how are you doing? Uh, what to do with a laptop that has a broken LCD? Well, you could do uh, a search for some LCD and buy a new LCD and put it in. But if you already have enough laptops and you're not really wanting to repair the thing because it's also an old laptop, you know, then maybe you just want to build something else from it and still use it. So we're gonna build a media player, a multimedia player for our TV. And this must be a TV with a VGA connection. You will need a VGA cable. Make sure that the laptop that you're gonna remove the screen of also has a Fiji a cable. Okay, we are here with uh, the Toshiba. It's a very nice Toshiba here, you can see it. It's kinda big, 17 inch. You know, uh, let's put the camera a little bit down so you can take a better look here. So, what we in fact gonna do, we just gonna wrap the top off. Okay, so now we wrapped the top off. Of course, you will not be able to rub it off, but you know, um, I already loosened it up. Be careful with the cables. Make sure that all these cables you you know uh, carefully removed from the cover, the back side of the LCD, and mess them good off here at the bottom. Make sure that you don't go into the ventilation holes. And in fact, now this machine is set up to go. Only thing we'll have to do is install some operating system on it and then you know this will be a perfect media player uh, of course if you connect it with your VGA cable to the TV. So let's go to the TV and let's see what we can do about it. You are in my, this is my TV corner. I don't really watch a lot of TV, most of the times it's off but I just uh, turned it on for the special case. And we're gonna look for the VGA input. And I saw it here somewhere. So we're gonna stick that one in. If we can. Yep, it's in. I also connected a power supply. I still had one. By the way, um, Agnes promised me that she would look and see if she could find uh, the power supply of this thing so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn on the TV and we must put the TV okay I found my remote control and what we'll need to do we'll have to put the TV on VGA okay so we're gonna put it on VGA and then we're gonna turn it on and then if we are lucky, we should get some screen. There you go. You see that? <clears throat> there you go. Let me see if I can get into the boot menu. Oh, turn on my friend. <laughs> yeah. Then we're gonna boot from CD. hope it works yep I hear it yes click 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 oh there she goes oh there she goes hey we could also uh, try to build a hacking tosh from this baby yeah <laughs> but uh, peeps this is it now you can go ahead and install Linux and for instance Kodi and you know just get uh, your uh, Kodi and now you have a media player from an old laptop that in fact you would not use anymore because of the screen that was broken well peeps what more can I show you you see the machine is still working fine and it's gonna get a good destination because it's gonna be a media player now and it was easy we just removed the whole screen uh, we took care of the cables we even have a little microphone there uh, we even have a little cam that is working that we never gonna use of course but it's working and if we find some LCD somewhere one day cheap from this machine then we could either get all these other parts uh, and just put the thing together again so make sure you 
you know get a little bag put all the screws inside or take a little piece of plastic put the screws inside turn it you know burn it with a lighter close it up so you know you have all that together put these things together you know uh, take a piece of tape put the screws on the thing so you can find them again if it's from now or maybe one year later that you will get some LCD completely free or you might find it or get another laptop just like this one you know but for now um, it's just fine I'm just gonna put it away uh, under the TV you will not even see the thing and you know by turning it on and going on VGA uh, putting my TV on VGA we will have a fantastic media player that will entertain us and you know just think of all these uh, films and how to make a smart TV from a dumb TV so yeah you you, you can do many things with this what we today created i want to thank you for watching like subscribe see you in my next video bye